along with the thermostat. Brian, we are feeling the heat. Yeah, ice cream's going to be flying off the shelves these next few days, too, because as Bria just mentioned, we are not alone. High heat up and down the eastern seaboard with those purple shaded states and portions of states under excessive heat warnings where the heat index may exceed 110. It won't be that high here, but it's high enough. A heat advisory goes into effect once again at noon today, including the triad uh, for feels like temperatures that will likely get into the triple digits again during the hottest part of the day, which should be this afternoon into the early part of the evening. Find a way to stay cool, stay hydrated, take a lot of breaks, get indoors in an air conditioned environment if you can and check on those who are a little more susceptible to heat related illnesses. The very young, the very old, as well as pets. Make sure your pets are either inside or have lots of water outdoors and a shady spot to lay down in today. Temperatures over the area in the mid 90s uh, yesterday afternoon had a high of 94 degrees in Greensboro among the hottest of the year so far and the hottest in July where we've had all our 90 degree weather so far. Got to 96 in Burlington. We may exceed that today on the surface map. We got a few pop up sprinkles trying to show up even here locally. Not much otherwise on radar. High pressure is in control. We'll keep our air relatively warm, soupy and saturated and also blocking the advance of some of these fronts coming in. These fronts are stalling coming out of the northern states and there really isn't much room for these things to move southward. So we're going to keep that high heat in the forecast for most days this week should ease up a little bit though in the days going forward. Temperatures this morning haven't cooled all that much with the very uh, soupy air that we have in place. Mid 70s at best over much of the triad with dew points in that very uncomfortable uh, range uh, lower to mid 70s this morning. Hot highs once again this afternoon should be close to if not into the 90s by lunchtime today. We'll start to introduce an afternoon storm threat. I think at least for the triad, the best chance will be later this evening, and even then it's about a 40% chance for showers and storms. Lower 90s to mid 90s for the foothills. Storms will begin to pop up shortly after lunchtime, peaking in the afternoon, and then moving eastward during the early part of the evening. Mountains will catch that too, with a 50-50 chance for showers and storms this afternoon. Some of those storms may become strong to severe. I think winds and lightning will be the primary threats from these storms once again. As we take a look at your seven day forecast, we really don't ease up the heat all that much this week. We'll have highs topping out in the lower 90s into the weekend with good rain chances continuing through at least uh, Thursday of this week.